So, I think subconsciously, Sam has had a little bit of an impact on me because at the end of the last video, he had this to say. You're surprisingly <laughs> great, mate, in your hair, by the way. That's I am. Yeah, it yeah. is going very grey, actually. It just so happens that I have gone to the barbers and subsequently got a zero back in sides. So it does look like I've just been incredibly insecure about my grey hairs and got rid of them. But uh, yeah, I was definitely due a haircut because it had been like a month or six weeks since I last got my haircut. And it was starting to turn into a little bit of a forest. So it's nice to get a haircut and feel a little bit fresh. Um, I am actually meeting up with Sam now. Um, because I've got annual leave this week, which means I can be quite flexible with my training. Um, so I just messaged him to see if he wanted to meet up for a session. So we're going to be going down to Dynamic Fitness, which is his normal gym. I think he's going to be doing some more equip lifting, which is always fun to watch. I think he's working up to a heavy single on the SSB. Um, I'm just going to be doing my normal deadlift and bench session. Not going super heavy today, because obviously I'm quite, I'm quite early in the new block. Um, so I think I've got two, four, five for a triple on deadlifts and 130 for a double on bench. So it should be, fingers crossed, a nice easy session. But um, yeah, it'd just be nice to meet up with Sam and see how he's getting on with his equip lifting. Okay, we are here. Uh, Sam's not here yet because I think he is still working. So he's just got a little bit of work to finish. So he's gonna meet me uh, here in a little bit. My sessions tend to go on a little bit longer than his anyway. So I'm gonna get started, get warmed up and then probably see him in about half an hour or so. So I think probably start with bench, just get that out of the way and then hit deadlift. So let's go. Not often that uh, Sam gets me gifts, but when he does, they're pretty epic. Nice little drinking stein, Let's put my pre-workout in. Right then, so what sort of numbers are you hoping to get on the SSB today? Well, I have had a lunch consisting entirely of beef heart, so we're going to see what effect beef heart has on training. <laughs> Right, that's a bench done, nice and easy. Gonna have a quick refreshment and then on to deadlifts. It shouldn't be that easy. No. All I'm doing is kind of wait to sit down. I won't get anywhere near power that out. So what sort of weight are you actually hoping to get today? A million. A million? I don't know, literally don't know. Don't know. No idea. Talk about bracing that. Now I'm here. How do I brace? Breathe into your balls. Oh! 
much there, mate. Thank you, bud. It's just um, trial and error, trial and error. Getting there, isn't it? It's going to take time. Working out the, the suit, like, well, I don't know Why you can strap more to Jack when the straps are on up than the straps are on, I don't know. Honestly, like, it's so, so far, far out of my... Yeah, I just don't know anything about it, but... It's good to see you. I've just uh, done my top sets, so just going to do some back downs, a little bit of accessories, and then I won't be far off behind you. Let's do that again, hang on. Let's edit that out. My God, I am super hot. He says wearing trackies to the gym, but I like wearing trackies when I deadlift for some reason. I don't really like wearing shorts. I don't know really why. It just seems to catch on the shorts, I think, and this wearing these trackies doesn't seem to do that. But uh, yeah, good session. Managed to do all my accessories as well, which is good. It's a bit of a rarity that I get all of my accessories done. So uh, yeah, it was a really good session. They've got some really good kit in there. And yeah, the lying hamstring curl is like amazing. So. Um, I'll probably come in here more Mondays just so I can use the hamstring curl but I need to get home now and get some food and that food is bubble and squeak cold meats a couple of Yorkshire puddings and some Branston pickles so it's basically just leftover from yesterday's roast um, basically what you'd have after Christmas but just using up some of the veg uh, in the form of a bubble and squeak and some cold meats and once I've eaten that I'm gonna be cracking on with a bit of work because I've got an exam coming up for uh, my physiotherapy degree next week. So um, like I say, I've taken the week off from work. So most of that time is going to be spent just revising and studying. Uh, therefore, I'm not really going to do much filming now until Friday when I've got another big session coming up. So I've got 245 kilos to do for a double on squat. So I'm probably not going to film until that session. Um, I might film in the gym uh, on Wednesday when I do my SSB. Uh, in fact, I'll show you that now. So hopefully future Matt had a good SSB session and that was a good rep. I don't know because it hasn't happened yet. Um, but yeah, as for the rest of this week, I'm just going to be studying. So I'll see you all on Friday. Okay guys, so welcome to Friday. Um, just about to start warming up for squats. Um, there was a slight change in the program and Matt has asked me to potentially, if everything is feeling good, work up to a new personal best for a single on my squat. So potentially, if everything goes to plan today, I'm going to be working up to 252.5, which would be a two and a half kilo PB. Um, obviously, my hip has not been feeling amazing the last few weeks, so we'll wait and see. Um, we may play it safe, so it might be that I don't get anywhere near that, but um, yeah, I've done everything right in terms of preparation for this, um, apart from running out of pre-workout, which wasn't ideal, so I've necked two cans of Monster before this session, so I'm probably going to feel a little bit gassy, but um, we'll just see how we get on. <laughs>
2.5. Absolutely buzzing with that. Um, Anticlimatically easy. Um, probably hit it at around an RP 8.5 to 9. I definitely feel like I could have repped it. I really sort of surprised myself. I was saying to Cat and Luke, who was uh, who's here, like spotted me, and I said um, I feel like I cut the depth because it just felt too easy. So yeah, really surprised myself there. No pain, which is like the most important thing out of this session. Um, and that's just a massive confidence booster. So new overall PB, training PB. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what I do in the, in the next couple of weeks when I'm supposed to be going heavy again. And then obviously comp, that's given me a lot of confidence that I might even have 260 at comp. So absolutely buzzing. As you may be able to tell, I'm extremely happy with that session. Um, I wasn't feeling confident at all going into it. Um, so much so that I was really questioning um, when Matt suggested that we go for 252 today. I was just thinking to myself, like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do that, especially after um, how 245 felt two weeks ago and just how much it kind of aggravated my hip and how it has aggravated sort of my hip in the last few sessions. But I think the biggest surprise, apart from hitting it relatively comfortably today, was I just didn't feel anything in my hip or my knee. Everything just felt really good. Uh, I think that's down to uh, the quality of the actual rep. So the technique was spot on, which is something that I'm obviously really happy with. Definitely at this, <coughs> excuse me, at this stage of training, um, because obviously you want to be really fine tuning things like technique and form. So that was a real positive as well. Just overall, everything aligned today and it was just the perfect session really um obviously did some bench and deadlifts as well because that's what i normally do on a friday so obviously with bench making sure i'm checking for that ipf bench depth because obviously that's a thing now um i don't think that's really go gonna affect me though because um yeah i don't have the biggest arch and i've got a relatively narrow grip actually on the bench so that would seemed absolutely fine and i don't think that's going to be a problem going forward although I, apparently there's a rule that you can't put your feet on the bench now and i do sit up that way so that's something i'm gonna to have to change but it's not a big deal um and then yeah rdls to finish off just a little bit of accessory work uh, three sets of eight on 140 just to give the hamstrings a little bit of a blast before finishing so yeah just heading home to obviously get changed and then heading out for a meal tonight um which would be quite nice for a friend's birthday so in the interest of recovery and everything i'm not going to be drinking um, and i'm going to be driving to make sure i don't drink um, but yeah it's just going to have a nice time lots of food so that's going to help with recovery as well uh, and just chill out for the rest of the weekend because um haven't got any training planned now uh, so i can just sort of kick back relax and let my body heal up it was a proper adrenaline rush though like getting under that bar it felt so heavy on my back but um just trusted it I suppose just trust the process trust that I am strong enough and kind of back yourself a little bit but yeah Whew. anyway guys I think I'm gonna pretty much wrap up the video here because I haven't really got much more to share with you over the rest of the week and the weekend but um, yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video I wasn't planning on hitting a new squat PB this week so that's been a bit of a nice surprise having that text from Matt um, and I'm glad he did do that because it's obviously built my confidence up so much more uh, heading into this comp. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. As always, please leave it a like if you have enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you're new and you haven't subscribed already for future content. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Four weeks out. That's pretty scary. We're getting there. I'm actually feeling more confident that 700 kilo might actually be going down. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.